Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Aurora Skies. I'm Landros and um, Roxy here is just staring at the refrigerator. Now guys, I want to go ahead and go ahead and start trying to pick up some gifts real quick. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Um, the site's been down kind of off and on, so I don't know if she'll be able to get them or not. And I hope that I can get through this, um, this video because I'm in excruciating pain right now. I know it probably doesn't sound like it, but... I got a tooth that is just killing me and I don't know if I'm going to make it. So if my channel kind of goes dark for a couple of days, you'll know I just didn't make it through the pain. Um, I'm going to try my best. I've got a bunch of little ibuprofen and I'm lining them up. Okay, now this guy, these guys are all for um, university, which I'm going to hopefully get to tonight if I can. Um, let's see, still university. I'm just saving anything that is a care package unless it, you guys tell me that it needs to go here or somewhere else. Okay, so from Dale Nikitty, hope this is a car or a duck. Let's go ahead and take a look. She's only got two ducks. Okay, so we got the Swank Living Room Chair. Thank you so much. Now, I've already sent my gifts back, so I can't do anything yet tonight. Um, I've got a few more hours till I can do it. Okay, Dale Nikitty, hope you're having a great day. No, I'm having a painful day. Here's another gift. So, All right, so we got the small ivy. Thank you so much for that. I thank you for both those gifts. Very nice of you. Okay, going to keep on going. Um... Okay, it's university, university. Okay. And then from Valdry, from my Sim families to yours. All right, let's go ahead. We got large and in charge. Okay, well, poor Adam. If he gets if he gets out of line, we're going to take care of him. All right, from Evelester, it says, love this send a gift feature. Yeah, I like it too. I just wish there was more that you could send than five. All right, we got the emoticot. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. All right, moving on up from, okay. From Himbeer Kutchen. Hey Landros, hope this helps. Love your LPs, especially Isle of the Midnight Sign. Yeah, a lot of you guys kind of like that one. I really like it too. Um, all right, the oh, that's cool. That's the water fountain. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, it's actually a very fun game to ch uh, to play. That challenge is really, really a, a nice twist on the game. Okay, moving right on up. Let's see. From Sissy012. Hi, I'm a new subscriber. Well, welcome, and I love your LPs, and thank you for that. They are so funny. I hope it's a duck for your collection at university. All right, I got to hold on to that one for uh, for the other guys, and I am going there sometime tonight, I think. All right, that's for generations. Um, this is from Silly Ruva, and it's a message from the game. Oh wait, but that's still a care package. So yeah, let's hang on to those. Okay, I can take this one. Acosta JJF. This is the message from the game, and we are getting. Another ivy. Thank you so much for the ivy. And let's see the rest of these. Nope, got one more. From Shebad2004. Um, okay, it's actually talking about university, so I'm going to go ahead and just hold on to that for that. So I'll, I'll promise I will try to get to those sometime today. I will, I'll do my best because, like I said, it is hurt. Um, as long as I don't talk too much, but you guys, you know me, I talk a lot. All right, anyway, going on upstairs, let's see. She needs to actually go ahead and go back to bed, but, yeah, it is kind of late. I forgot it's actually 11 o'clock. All right, you're going to go to bed anyway, so I'm just going to tell you to do it yourself. Adam, you're actually fine, so let me go back over with you. I didn't even check Austin. Austin may be struggling. I don't know. All right, come on, computer. All right, I think it's just having as much pain as I am. Yeah, that's how I feel. All right, so you guys go ahead and keep going. For some reason, it's taking a while to load up, and they're struggling. The computer's struggling. He's struggling. I'm struggling. It's just that's the theme for today. All right, now he's got to get something to eat pretty soon, but he's not terrible. It's not like he's going to pass out or anything. And his midlife crisis is, a, is about to be over. We didn't do much. I think we only got one wish done or none. I don't think we got anything done. Yeah, so that's pretty sad. Let's see. No, we got two. At least we got two. So, unfortunately, I couldn't do anything else. And a concert would have been easy, but I didn't even think about it. I mean, I did. We did try it, but it, for some reason, it just didn't work. We are probably going to buy something soon, so I'm going to go ahead and just hold on to that. All right. Now, I've complained about his, um, his clothing, and, you know, the point was made that, yes, this is actually based on Iceland, and this would be great. And I agree. This would be actually the kind of clothing I would wear when I'd be outside doing any exercise. But inside of a, a decently uh, accommodating gym with the temperature and whatnot, I still probably wouldn't wear this. Then again, I mean, maybe the buildings are really cold inside as well. I don't know. But I would probably still wear something a little bit more, um, a little bit more free. Because it's hard for me to actually do anything with these big jackets and whatnot on. 
and it, you know, I guess it would be fine, but yeah, that's just me. All right, he's taking his time. It's gonna be okay. Let me go check on Austin. Austin, you can either destroy something, and hopefully, you can get that done pretty quick. Um, yeah, we still have those gifts over there. Let me go ahead and have him chew. He's not too tired at all, so that's fine. You want to go chase the ball? Well, that's outside. You can go do it all you want, but I don't think you're really going to enjoy it. All right, you're going to go ahead and eat from the bowl. And Roxy, you're over here just snoring away. You may look pretty, but you sure do sound pretty loud when you're sleeping. Oh, now you're going to, now you're going to play all quiet. Yeah, uh-huh. You can play all you want. There you go. That's you. <laughs> all right. Did you chew? No, you didn't chew anything. I think you just got confused. They do call you clueless for a reason. So you go ahead and you come over here and chew this thing up in just a minute. Now, I love pets. I really do. And I'm it's it's the one expansion pack that I haven't really done much with. But the problem is they are very hard to take care of. And if you're going to deal with families or anything like that, it is definitely and it's going to be a challenge because their needs go down so quickly. Still, I'm not I mean, I'm not opposed to having pets in my families. It's just a lot of work. I think normally though I have a cat because cats are easier. Now they tend to sleep all the time. That's true in real life, to be honest with you. All right, Adam, when you get done, since you're going to be, what time do you work tomorrow? Oh yeah, you need to actually get out of here and go. I know you've been up working for a while. Let's go ahead and get you over to the diner. That way you don't have to really do too much. Uh, go ahead and eat over here by yourself. Let me go back with you for a minute. Yeah, it's about one o'clock in the morning. You probably ought to go ahead. You're gonna work out till five o'clock. Can you? Oh, give it a quick burst. What am I doing? Go ahead and just knock this thing out, buddy. At least we can get you fatigued, because I think you had to do that, and you still have to go read your athletic book, which I don't know. Okay, yes, yeah, so you did lose your life, your midlife crisis thing. I bet we got the message saying he didn't get anything done. Yeah, his midlife crisis is over. He got a little accomplished, but there was so much more that he could have done. He feels like he barely got his life on the right track completed two wishes all right I think you got to complete five in order for it to be somewhat successful but yeah that's all right yeah you may be smelly buddy but you're gonna go eat because you do need to do that are you a genius is that what you're doing yeah you are a genius aren't you I had no, I, I knew it I just completely forgot it but I remember looking at your traits um, yeah you are getting up there aren't you how much time do you have 16 days man yeah this is what I normally do in my regular game is I normally don't get the people pregnant really quickly I wait until they become adults and normally if you do it I think the way I've got it timed out as long as they get pregnant within the first four days of being an adult they'll live to see their child become a young adult they may not live much past that but they'll live to that point so I don't know because I did change all of my age ranges um, when I started my LPs so I'm still thinking that that works. I could be wrong, and I may be playing the pretty dangerous game of um, beating the clock before death comes to get the uh, to get the adults. But I'm still just kind of holding off with Roxy. Roxy's got some time. She's only going to be an adult in seven days, so you know we don't have to rush out and get pregnant right away. And like I said, I normally like to have them level up. The women, once they get pregnant their career suffers big time and she already is only at three she needs to really get her career bumped up but see she's got all of her skills going really strong so she should be good if I make her work hard um, in the next day or two she should go ahead and jump up at least to a four and possibly a five and then I'll feel pretty good about getting her um, you know, getting her into maternity and all that because it would just be a little bit easier alright buddy you need to come out here and pee go. oh you did not do that Oh, somebody ought to get up and scold you. Roxy, get up and scold him because that's just awful. Go ahead and can you scold him? No, you better. That was just terrible. Austin, somebody ought to rub your nose in it. I think that's what you're supposed to do. All right, reinforce. Let's scold him for peeing in the house. Yep, for being piggy. That's disgusting. And then you also need to scold for other things. Um... Yeah, and for jumping. You don't want to jump up onto things. Go for it, Roxy. Fix him. Yeah, I can't believe he peed right there on the on the floor. Yeah, you ought to be ashamed. Yep, he's got a, he's got a little piglet. That's funny. Alright. Why don't you go ahead and chew, and then she can 
She can praise him for that, at least. <laughs> no. You know what? Roxy, go on back to bed. Actually, you ought to pee this, or mop up that puddle and then go to bed. That's disgusting. Adam, you should be coming home, and you actually need to get a shower. Um, oh, he's already here. Go ahead and take a shower, and then you can go to bed, too. Roxy, come on. It's just a, it's just a puddle. It's not going to hurt you. Okay, <laughs> she, she can't figure out how to get in her bedroom. All right, get in there, mop up that puddle, and then you can go to sleep. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, I thought about what I was going to do with this house. And <laughs> I'm sorry. That's too funny. <laughs> okay, that's too funny. All right. Um, I thought about going out or going back or possibly just going up. And we could just take them up another level, which looking at this house, it'll be real easy to do. Um, I don't know. My problem is not the actual building, it's the roof. That's the part that I have the hardest time because it never tends to look right when I do it. I try, but it doesn't really. Are right, you guys going to uh, hang your lights? While we're here, let's go ahead and do that. There you go. So they're all ready for the holidays, which I think is pretty cute. All right, they're all asleep. Let me go ahead and get out of here. I'll be back in a minute when they're up and ready to get going. All right, Roxy's carpool is coming. Let's go ahead and take a look at her and make sure she's okay. Roxy, you're not even up yet. Well, everything stopped. You should have been up. You're going to go ahead and you're going to eat some of these uh, organic apple pancakes. Go ahead and take care of that. And then Austin's probably over there just doing nothing. But he could... Oh, actually, he's got his needs pretty well. That's that's pretty nice. Now I'm going to let him go ahead and eat from the bowl. He can sleep all day long. He doesn't have to worry about it. Because then I'm going to have Roxy talk to him in just a minute before she leaves for work. Although she probably won't have time because the carpool is going to come before she actually finishes her breakfast. That's okay. She's going to go to work today, and she is going to work hard. I'm going to get her bumped up as far as I can, as quick as I can, because I definitely want her to, um, to level up a little bit higher. Mm. That way we also know what else we need to work on for her, because, like I said, that, I've done the science career, but it's been a long time since I've done much of it. I really didn't go all the way through it. All right. All right, come on. Okay, now you should be able to talk to him. Uh, you ought to just leave the leave the plates. We'll let Adam take care of them. Adam can do that. All right, Austin, stop. You can eat when she leaves. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, go talk to the dog real quick, and then that way his social will be up high enough that we don't have to worry about him for a while. And then you can go to work. All right, yeah, you're going. All right, his needs should be fine. Well, they're not bad. They're, they could be better. All right, go ahead and finish eating, and then you can go ahead and finish destroying something, and then you can go back to bed. All right, Roxy, are you out? Yeah, oh, wow. Oh, the mailman's here. What did you bring us? You brought us... Oh, you didn't bring us any bills. All right, you're not going to do business as usual. You are going to work hard today. And let's go ahead and see. You should be okay with everything else you're... Um, your mood's not bad, and you got all your needs here. You got everything you've got. Um, all your skills that you needed are perfect. Wow. Look at that old person right there. You're dressed a little bit cold for this. But he's not. He knows how to dress for cold weather. Is he a vampire? Looks like it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd be cold, too. It looks just freezing cold. And, of course, you know, it does. It didn't look like... um. It did the night before with the the sky. It actually looked like it was nighttime. So it was kind of weird the other night when it just didn't work. It didn't look like it was really that cold. I mean, <laughs> that late. All right, Adam, you're going to get up. And let's go ahead and get you taken care of right here with this. And then I'm going to let you eat something. Um, and then you can clean up real quick. Now, as far as your job, you're going in six hours. So you've got a little bit of time. But we really didn't get your athletic bumped up enough. We did We did okay. But your teammates are what's really suffering. So we got to work on that today with you. Um, the sad thing is you work almost every single day. And you're not going to get another raise for a while because you just now got this last one. You're at level 6, though. So we got to push you to level 7. Um, yeah, the fact that you don't have that many days means it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to get you up to the top. Maybe not. But I'm just kind of getting the feeling that you're going to be working all the way through your elder years just trying to do it. 
Now, I could always roll your age back down if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do it. We'll stick with you until you have to leave us. Austin, you, on the other hand, you're adventurous. You got that trade again. Okay. You're just going to sit here, aren't you? You can do absolutely nothing. All right, can you sleep at least? No, you can just sit there. Um, there's not a whole lot anybody can do, so Roxy, it's up to you. I'm going to speed you up real quick, get you through your day until Adam decides to get up. Oh, wait, Adam is up. Uncommonly good. Bring 20 harvested items of excellent quality to the restaurant. Uh, if I if we had been gardening all along and we're actually able to grow them, I would say yeah. But right now I'm going to hold off. We are going to do it, but I'm going to wait until we can actually until we can actually garden and get them to that level. Right now it's going to take too long. I guess I should have locked it in. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Okay, you want to actually see a concert, reach level eight, move to a new house. Mm -hmm. Now I, there was something I wanted to buy, but I don't think we're going to have the room for it. In fact, I know we're not. So right now, really, there's not much I can do except just wait for oh. wait for either us to move and or either build onto this house. And I'm still debating what I want to do. I can always go back. Going back would be easy. And it wouldn't mess up the roof line too much. All right. He should be done. Now, before actually I started the game, I did go into their inventory, some of the stuff that they had, and I sold off some of the basic things. Not a whole lot, because there's still a lot of stuff that they have. But I sold off a few of the gifts, and it really didn't bring their money up that much. So hopefully today they're both going to do well. He makes decent money. He makes 100 an hour, 104. She makes 63. So hopefully they'll be okay. And she's doing really well over there. She's almost halfway up to the next level. All right, go ahead and talk to the dog at least. Go ahead and talk to him. Go ahead and let him sift your hand. Oops, not that. Okay. And you can hug the dog. Can you reinforce? Yeah. You can <laughs> scold him for... Oh, no, that's not that. Yeah, that's okay. Praise him for... No. We're not going to do either one. All right, you can teach him a trick right now. You can teach him how to sit. You got four hours to do it, and I should get you over there to do your job or get you going over to the gym or something. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get you to talk to one of your teammates. Talk to this lady. Call her up. By the time you get a conversation going there, it'll be time for you to go to work, and you'll be fine. Alright. Yeah, there's not a whole lot that, can, that we're doing right now because we only have the two of them, and they really haven't done a whole lot. Um, and with the snow and everything, it's kind of hard for me to send the poor dog out there in the snow. I mean, I could, but it's kind of it's kind of cruel. I'll tell you, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way, and we're going to take that. I know it's worth less, but I don't think we're going to buy anything right now, so... But I do know we're going to get this one done. Roxy, when you get done, your energy, all that is good. I'm going to get you to go ahead and... Mm, it's really none of these I want you to do. All those you can do, but I think I want to take you out of here. And I'm going to take you back over to... Let's see. We don't want to enroll in university. No, we don't want to do that. We're going to go over here to the art museum. I've got something I want you to do over there. So, Adam, we're back with you for a little bit. Oh, we got a party. Who's having a party? Jesse Clark. And that'll be tonight at 6 o'clock. Casual attire? Sure, we'll go. We might as well go to the parties we can get to. Alright. Adam, your car full is coming, so you're not going to get to talk to this lady at all. I didn't think... Oh, you were supposed to read your book. Alright, stop what you're doing. Stop talking to this guy. This dog. Go ahead and read this book. See how far you got. <laughs> read it and let's see I think you were close you got 45 minutes you might be able to get something done I should have done it on your multi-tab in fact I can do that now let's go ahead and just do it on your multi-tab read um, getting past the draft go ahead and let's see if you can get at least get a little bit further I think you had already started it if I'm not mistaken Austin leave Adam alone go over here and chew something Oh, yeah, he's actually not too far off, so he could actually probably get it done, or he can get really close. Get over there and chew something up. <laughs> Leave us alone. Um, Adam, 20 minutes. Read that book, buddy. Read like you like there's no tomorrow. Go ahead and do it. Come on, finish the book real quick, because then you'll be okay. 
There you go. Good deal. So he's done his he's done this book. Roxy just got out of work. She made 346. And we're gonna go with Roxy in just a minute. So she should be on her way. Actually, oh yeah, she's just walking out the parking lot, so that's good. Are you in your nice little car that we just got? I love it. It looks green. It really does. It's not green, I don't think. It's supposed to be white, but maybe it is green. I have no idea. I just think it's the I think it's just the reflection of everything else so all right let's get on up here the snow is just causing havoc on my computer tonight yeah, I, and like i said my computer can handle it it's got tons of ram it's ridiculous how much i've got so for some reason it's just and there's nothing going on in the background so i gotta go look into that maybe there's something i'm not setting right okay i believe it's on the second floor that i want to take you let's go up here um or maybe it's on the third floor yeah let's go to the third floor <laughs> yeah, it's back here. Okay. I thought there was something over here. Oh, is there not a... I thought there's an art easel over here. All right. Well, I thought there was. Maybe it's up up above. I know there's one over at the little toddler place, which I figure if it's not here, we'll go over there. All right. So that's my mistake. I thought you could come over here and you could paint. It would be something to get you out of your house. But let's go to the, the early learning center and go there. You're talking to Jacob. He's your friend. All right. Well, that's fine. You can talk to Jacob, but... <laughs> Tell him you gotta go. Jacob Ingberg, we gotta leave, buddy. Alright, Adam, I guess that book really helped you. It says, uh, oh wait, Adam, you need to be hanging with your team members. That's something you gotta work on. It's been great meeting you. Oh, she has, must have her charisma up because she did really well. He needs to go give a presentation. I don't think he can do it at this time. Uh, aside from the joys of getting through the draft successfully, you've already enjoyed the benefits of an improved relationship with your boss and an improved job performance. All right, so that book helped us quite a bit. Let me see how much it helped. Okay, that's good. I mean, at least it's a little bit, a little bit more than I thought. All right, Roxy, this is good. You have your painting over here that you had already started, but let me see. Oh, you just need fun. Go over here and continue your painting. Okay, where's this music coming from? I think it's upstairs. Uh, if I go upstairs, it's going to be really loud. Let me go up and just make sure, see what I can do to turn it up. It's right here. If there's nobody up there, why are we going to have it on? Okay. All right, where are you? You're first floor. All right, so you're over here getting this painting done, and I think this one's yours as well, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. That's. I think that might be Adam's. Maybe. Or I can't remember who was over here with us. Let's just check. Adam, is this your painting? Nope. But we can get rid of it if we want to. All right, so you got level seven of painting. Fantastic. You can now paint portraits. Good deal. We ought to do a portrait. Okay, somebody's all excited. Austin, you're playing outside with the dog or with the ball. That's good. You need to do that. Yeah, I mean, I like this place. We haven't come over here to use it because we don't have kids, but I do like it. And it's going to be nice when we do have the kid. Um... Which, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, we may just go ahead and get started pretty soon because it's not really going to do it. It's any different to wait. Uh, at least if we do have a kid, it'll give us some time. But, Roxy, how did you do on your job today? Did you get pretty far? Oh, yeah, you're going to get a raise tomorrow. So that'll put you up to level four. So if I could do this for a couple of days, um, then, yeah, I could probably get you taken care of. So tomorrow it will be Wednesday. You won't work on Thursday because of the, the snow day or festival day. And then you'll work Friday. So maybe Friday night we can actually know. Yeah, Friday night we can maybe think about whether we want you to get pregnant or not, because that'll get him. He's actually going to be pushing it. He's going to be he's going to be an elder before you know it. No, no, sixteen days. Why do I keep thinking six? I don't know. All right, that's okay. So he's got some time. How's this painting coming along? Looks kind of. Hmm, it's getting there. Let me go ahead and speed you up so you can get this painting done, and that way Adam can get out of work. At least your mood just went up, so you're fine. Okay, the ghost of Oscar Olsen has finally lost his grip on the mortal realm. He may leave the netherworld occasionally to visit, but cannot be restored. All right, poor guy. That's a true death for a ghost. Okay, he's about to get out of work, and I'm hoping he can go do that presentation. Something tells me he won't be able to, but I'm going to I'm gonna try to stay optimistic and see if he can go do it. All right, okay. He's about out. Tell me that the place is going to be open for a while. Um, 
It's almost 8 o'clock. I think it closes at 8, so I don't think he can do it after that. Or maybe it's 9. Okay, must be 9. So, Adam, go over there and do this thing, and then I'll let you go home. That way we can get that one knocked off. Adam made 638. That child is, needs something. Somebody go take care of that kid. Oh, it's a dollhouse. Okay, I was like, what in the world? All right, Roxy, you've been making this green tree for a long time. How much longer is it going to take you? I guess it's going to take you that long. Um, you wanted to go to a party. Uh, did we just completely miss that party or what? I must have clicked out of it because I was planning on going. All right, well, when you get finished here, I, did you eat? Oh, you're hungry. I might as well go ahead and let you eat while you're downtown because you don't want to go home and cook. I don't want to cook. Um, let's go ahead and have something to eat real quick. What is that? Receive a text from Jesse Clark. Uh, you can get a text from him. That's fine. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and speed you up. And Adam, yeah, it's going to take you a while, buddy. So you just better settle in, enjoy your presentation. Roxy, how much longer do you have for this? Not much. I really don't want to mess with you for too much longer. Wow, you got your painting up to level 8? Well, that's pretty good. At least you're getting that painting skill up. Then you just have to work on guitar, and you will have your lifetime wish accomplished. All right, looks like he got that one done. I'm actually not going to let her go to the, to the diner. She's going to eat some of the food there. Oh, well, there you go. It now looks like a tree. Okay. Did he go home? I think he did. Go ahead and sell that thing for $98, and then you go ahead and go home. Get your text. Oh, well, there you go. You like the text. That's fine. All right, Jesse's party starts in one hour. Uh, I thought it started at 5.52, and now it's 11. That's a big-time glitch right there. There's a problem. All right. Roxy didn't like the ch <laughs> she didn't like the candy at all. All right, Roxy, go over here. No, don't talk to this guy. You're not going to play catch with him. You're going to sell that, and you're going to go home. Sell it, go home. Yeah, somebody was breaking up over there. You could hear it. Okay, Adam, how are you doing? You're going to throw up, so you might as well just... Oh, from the, <laughs> the candy bar. Yeah, well. All right, you need to go ahead and go into bed, because you're going to end up waking up in the middle of the night. Oh, man, Austin. Go mop up that puddle and scold him for peeing on the floor. Um, No, he didn't pee? Well... It looked like he peed. All right, go ahead and go to sleep. You on the other hand, buddy, go eat. She needs to come over here. Oh, she ate something. What in the world did she eat? Uh, oh, driving alone, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and go to bed, girl. It doesn't matter. You want to actually paint something brilliant? Well, you can't throw a great party. But maybe you'll do that. We'll let you try that. Okay, who are you no longer friends with? Fatima Tanner. That's bad. That's really sad. All right, Jesse's had a party. Start. Okay, Roxy better not miss it. She did. She missed it in a heartbeat. All right, everyone in the audience, loosen their ties to sit back and listen to your wonderful presentation. Before long, everyone was up conversing using the skills you taught them. The business gladly sent you, uh, set aside some cash to cover your costs. All right, that's from Adam's little presentation that he did. All right, while they're sleeping, I'm going to cut out of here and be back in just a minute, and we'll get them back off to work again and hopefully get their skills up or get their level up uh, the next day. Be back in just a second. Okay, Roxy's getting up. Um, the only thing that really happened overnight that you guys missed was that um, Adam got up and had to throw up, and then I worked a little bit with, um, with Austin. He was chewing on the chew toy, and he got the non-destructive trait. So that was really the only thing that happened. At first, I thought that Adam was going to get abducted because I heard the alien, but they didn't actually stop and get him. But it was right about the time he was waking up. But they, they didn't take him. Anyway, she's got to go to work pretty quick, and then we'll get her we'll get her actually maybe up to that, that next level today. Oh, definitely. So there's no way she won't make it to four, which is good. All right. This dog all right, has done nothing else. All right. Basically, I need to get you out of here and go pee. Let's go to the backyard. Go pee over here, and maybe when when Adam gets up, you can talk to him, because Roxy's not gonna have time. She's gonna have to go pretty quick. You got ten minutes to get your shower done. All right, Adam, you actually can go ahead and eat something. 
and then I'll let you let's see what are you doing today okay you got eight hours you don't have to read anything you don't have to really work on anything so I'm gonna let you talk to the dog and then I'm gonna let you go ahead and there you go dog do it outside let's reinforce hang on let me see he just did it no nope, not hunting reinforce and praise ah. reinforce praise him for being me that way maybe that dog will start to settle down and get better traits because the traits we have right now have not been that great clueless is not the best one for him okay then you also need to go ahead and talk to him and probably ought to feed him a treat and talk to him some more and hug your dog come on dog all right Roxy you're gonna work hard all right you can work hard oh you're smelly as can be but that's because you did not get up in time that's okay and then Adam I want you to fill the fill the dog bowl because it looks like it is just as empty as can be all right yeah he's he's okay it has not stopped snowing since uh, winter got here I mean it's basically been the entire time but that's okay I mean they could go out now and they could build snowmen and do all that stuff but I'm not really planning on doing that. I was going to hold that until Thursday when we go to the festival. There you go. I'm sure your relationship with him should be pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not as good as it is with Roxy, but, you know, that's okay. She did spend more time with you. Now, Adam, you really haven't messed around with any of your, like, your daughter or... That's your ex, isn't it? No. There's your daughter. Okay. And we haven't even talked about... Where's your... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's the other lady. <laughs> She's your enemy. All right, tell you what. No, no, no. You're not going to do that. You're going to get up since you've got for how much time? Okay, you got plenty of time. Let's get you over here and let you get your needs taken care of. Mm -hmm. Get your shower done. And then I'm thinking what we'll do is we will get you over here to the gym or to your work. But we're going to do it a little differently today. All right, come on now. Man, trying to find the, the, the actual area here. That's pretty rough. All right, you can go there, but I don't want you to go there. I want you to go right onto the side, which I believe would be right here. You're going to extreme jog here without breaking a sweat. That'll work on your athletic, plus it will give you a little bit of, um, a little bit of time before you have to be at work, and you won't miss it. You'll be right there next to it. Unless you get there and turn around and come home. But I think you've got at least enough time. Oh, it's a game. All right, well, that's good. You can do this before the game. You did build your relationship with your teammates a little bit, so I don't think it's bad anymore. Um, nope, it's great. So that's good. So now we just got to work on the game record, and I'm hoping that you do okay on this. All right, go ahead and get out of here, buddy. It's, it's getting late. Five hours here goes, a, goes very quickly. All right. <clears throat> yeah, now one of the things, if you make them jog, and if they jog for a certain amount of time, they'll live longer, uh, even when they hit up to like their, their 90 days or whatever. Just that, that little bit of jogging that you do can make a big difference. So that's why I tend to use cardio a lot on my guys, because I know it's going to affect them. Uh, it's going to give them a lot, little bit longer life. But I forget to go jogging around town and you know if you've got plenty of time before you do it it's just an easy way to level up your athletic and also just to give them an advantage so you don't lose them quite as quickly so I get kind of attached to my little sims after a while all right you just improved to level eight you got your 2,000 points let's see that's probably training somebody yeah we're not gonna train anybody you want to talk to someone you must be getting pretty lonely I don't think you are you were just okay for a little while ago um, all these things would be great if we had a kid. I would definitely do the seesaw. All right, you're gonna probably talk to somebody before you're not, before too long, so that's fine. All right, so that I believe that is City Hall right there, which we we were there briefly. I don't think we really spent much time. We just went and changed our names. But then this is the festival lot. Since we haven't been over here yet, we really don't have too much. We'll see it tomorrow because we're gonna come over and spend the entire day. Just going through and doing all the different things. And I do like this lot because, you know, you can actually see your sims pretty much for the entire lot. It's not like you get lost and can't find them. But um, it's actually very nice. It's very well done. I was wondering how it was going to work being on such a, a shorter lot. 
but it's really no different than I guess the one the Hidden Springs. Just Hidden Springs with all those trees, you tend to, you tend to kind of get everything bogged down. I get distracted by all the trees. So, how much longer? How much longer do you have? Four hours? Well, this is fine. Jogging also gives you a chance. You can kind of look around the town. You get to see what's here. Roxy, your carpool was coming. <laughs> that was early this morning. Oh, she's upset. Why do I still... Oh, no, she's not working hard. Her mood's gone down because she's stressed out and she's overworked. Yeah, that's my fault. And what is this? This is the... Fa oh, she got a pure reputation. She's faithful. What about him? <laughs> He's a dog. <laughs> he has no pure reputation. That's all right. He's been pretty good so far. He hasn't been doing anything bad with her, so, you know, we can't rag on him too much. Are you already here? Okay, well, you got plenty of time. Is that somebody's backyard? Wait a minute, is that the is that the pool? I have no idea what that was. That was porta party. That wasn't a pool. All right, well, you're here. I would make you dumpster dive, but then you're going to actually get all smelly and nasty, and that would be bad. Why don't you come over here and just go make a snow angel? You're out here. You're in the snow. I'm surprised you didn't get that wish. You got three hours. I don't want to wear you out too much before you actually have to go to the game. But your mood is good, and pretty much everything else is fine, so you're probably going to do okay at your, at your at your game. At least I hope you will. And that's the... That's the goal. <laughs> it's so funny. You'll work out as comfortable as you can wearing the big heavy clothes, but you'll go out and make snow angels <laughs> without a shirt on and in shorts and no shoes. <laughs> Something tells me he's a little crazy. Okay. But that's all right. You can do that. All right. You can go on to work now because it's actually time to go to your game. <laughs> all right. Go on to your game. Uber. All right, you are crazy. I don't know who you're talking to. Okay, well, Roxy, you're about to get out of here and go get your raise, which is good. Um, you're gonna get your promotion, and then you can go home, and we'll get that we'll get that much needed shower as soon as you get there. So, Adam, nothing you can do. Just do your warm up. I don't have to change anything. Austin, oh, poor Austin. Oh, but wait a minute. You had said you were gonna destroy something, but no. Okay, you're fine. Go ahead and let's see. Mm, you don't really need to do any of that, do you? You do need to just lie down for a little bit. Actually, you could sleep. Roxy, you definitely got to get out of here. You're about to lose it. Your mood is down to nothing. It's pitiful. At least it's not red. I mean, that would be bad enough. I mean, this is horrible, but you're almost out of there. Oh, man, there goes my time. Alright, so she got her raise. She made 345 today. She is now a fertilizer analyst. Oh, stop timer. Alright, so she had a bonus of 756, making 97 an hour. You probably don't want to know what that smell is. Fertilizer analysts need to be ready for some hands-on time um, with some stinky stuff because the, the best harvests come from great, horrifically smelly fertilizers. Head outside to spend time in the garden and don't forget to shower afterwards. All right, good deal, Roxy. Now, I want to look and see what other skills that we need for her if there's anything new that's opened up. Um, just really got to work on her mood. Everything else is fine. Gardening and handiness were fine. Let's see, I've got her, her gardening's mastered, so I don't have to worry about any of that. Her handiness is what I really should be working on. Um, it's actually pretty good. When you get out of here, can you go ahead and upgrade this thing? Uh, oh, you already did. Oh, man. All right, let's see. I'm going to have you eat something real quick. I'm going to let you go ahead and clean that up. And then I ought to make you upgrade. Since you're level 7, you should be able to upgrade that. Make it unbreakable. And then that will give you some practice there as well. And you should be able to level that up. I don't think you're working tomorrow because of the festival. So you did pretty good. You got yourself up to a point where I think on Friday we should be able to start thinking about uh, moving on with the family. Of course, that means we're going to have to really think about what we're going to do as far as the house. Do I need to just go ahead and add on or um, find something different? So I'll look around. I'll look in the edit town and I'll see what's available and see if any of it looks like something we could use. Otherwise, we will probably just um, try to make this house work. At least that's the plan. All right, guys. 
I'm going to go ahead and stop talking because it's really hurting bad. And I apologize if it hasn't been as lively. I've been in a lot of pain, but I did want to at least get this one recorded. And um, I'm going to do my best to get through a couple of other ones. But I'm going to take a nice little break for a little while. And uh, hopefully I'll be into the dentist in the next day or so. It's kind of crazy. I can't really get into it right away. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.